Hey guys, hello, hello, and welcome back to another commentary by Synetic Starcraft. Today we're going to be going against the Zerg player, UNYB, at the Grandmasters League with whatever points. I forget. And I forgot to say, so whatever. Um, pretty excited to use this new mic for the first time. It is uh, the Corsair Vengeance or something. Uh, I used to have the HS1, which uh, apparently broke down or something, so... Uh, they did have that replaced for me since I had the uh, insurance plan or whatever on it. And they gave me the Vengeance, which I'm quite liking, but uh, there's not mu too much problems with it. The, the one thing it might be uh, is it's a bit squishy on your head, so after you wear it for a long time, you feel like uh, your head's a lot, I don't know, compressed. <laughs> so uh, many of you guys have been asking about questions for ZVZ, and... ZBZ really is the hardest matchup, just like, uh, I mean, watching other uh, mere matchups, uh, playing against your own race is really, it comes down to the hardest thing, but I really do believe the winner of a ZBZ is, after the coin flip opening, it's really who uh, who's the better player will, act, will win. I mean, after the coin flip, it's really, it really comes down to skill, and... Uh, it's a hard matchup to master, especially because you don't get much uh, in-game, uh, I mean mid-game to late-game experience, because most ZVZs end so quick that m most of us don't even know what an end-game Zerg looks like. So, uh, as I go do my ZVZs, I feel like they're going to be a lot more uh, macro-orientated, and uh, I feel like I can show you guys a lot more uh, strategies that aren't just, you know, the normal run in with Ling's kill them, the Ling Baneling, the Roach Ling aggression and all that, but uh Yeah, so I am going my Roach opening, even though I do scout that he is going the fifteen hatch, the same build as mine. Uh so I scout that he's going gas first before pool, so that tells me he's gonna get early Zergling speed. I'm not gonna have early Zergling speed yet, because I'm getting my gas a little bit later at seventeen, so uh Already, we have a bit of variety where he's going for the early speedlings and I'm going for the early roaches. Um, to be honest with you guys, I don't like using banelings in ZVZ. Even though Ling Baneling micro is really... It takes a lot of skill and uh, it, it, it's hard to master. It's, I mean, one baneling can kill a lot of zerglings if you're uh, not careful with them. So, yeah. Anyways, uh... Similar builds coming out, 15 hatching. Uh, most of the times this would end up being a uh, long macro game, but uh, this game we'll see how it pans out. He is transferring drones. Drones are pretty similar, 17 to 16. He is making one queen, I'm making one queen, and I'm going to throw down my Roach Warren here, away from his overload, so he does not scout the Roach Warren. Okay, he didn't. That would have been embarrassing if he did, but he didn't, so uh, I knew his overload was going to go this way, so... How your roach warn? You don't want them to see what you're doing exactly. I know what he's doing. I know he's doing speedlings and possibly in the banes or roaches later. I don't know which yet. Uh, making a couple pair of zerglings just to harass his drones. You know, do a little bit, little bit of damage here and there whenever you can until I have around three or four roaches to block off my ramp, and I will be throwing up a spine. You know, droning up until both bases are saturated before you see my next move. So coming in here, I do see a drone that is ripe for the picking, but uh, his queen says no and his drones run away, so those two zerglings were wasted. But that, that tells, does tell me he has uh, a second queen as well as okay saturation here, so he did transfer quite a bit, making a banelings nest now. I still don't know that he's going banelings, but I do know he's going to have early speed, so I better retreat my zerglings before uh, the speed kicks in and uh, he catches my zerglings without speed and kills them all. Bailing's Nest is up now, and uh, I think it was right here. I do see that he is morphing Banelings, so uh, that tells me he did go the Baneling route, and he is not uh, <laughs> going mass Zerglings or uh, Roaches. You can't go Banes and Roaches at the same time, especially when you make this much Banes. Uh, rallying in lots of links, and I do uh, transfer all my drones back up to my main so they don't get picked off by Speedlings. I do have a nice fortification here, so he won't be able to break in uh, with the Zerglings. Lots of Banelings, though, can kill Roaches, which is surprising. 
One Baneling going off there, killing four uh, Zerglings. That was worth it. Making more roaches now. You want to get your roach ball bigger as he rallies more Zerglings, which you can see. You, you want to make sure your overlords can see exactly where he rallies to. So uh, I do see that he's rallying Zerglings right now non-stop. So if he's making units non-stop, I better make un units non-stop. And my units are going to be exponentially better than his because roaches are... Once you get the critical ball of roaches, Zerglings just can't surround. They don't have enough surface area to attack the roaches and the roaches just outpower them so much. And uh, already that attack was very cost inefficient because he spent like, what, eight Banelings? And from the resources lost tab here, we can see that. And uh, my army right now is so much infinitely better than him. I have more drones because I did uh, drone up more than him behind this as he was preparing for his Zerglings to attack. Uh, he has switched up to drones now, making, making a spine crawler. Uh, while I am still uh, just walling off here and let's see if I make more units. So I do make more units. So uh, that means I'm going to go kill his uh, base and hopefully straight up kill him if not drone up again and uh, play a macro game so we'll see if he can survive this attack pretty soon we'll be getting drones after this pretty soon making three spines that's quite a bit of spines overlord here spotting for more weird stuff going on and uh, he doesn't look like he has much of a transition uh, just making a bunch of spines and droning up and uh, hopefully going for that macro style after a while so he has caught up in drones now finally and my army is just so big because of his uh, failed baneling attack so i'm gonna move out with my roaches here and uh always be wary of a counter attack really it happens like every game where you move out with roachling and they'll have a group of speedlings in here or something and run in kill your drones and if you lose drones your, th your attack just got turned into an all-in so that is not very good. He is morphing a lot of Banelings, which is surprising because uh, from there you only want maybe like four or five to hopefully catch off the Zerglings, which are going to be damn near impossible because uh, there's so many roaches on the field that you can just target down the Banelings and they, the Banelings won't do too much as the, the Zerglings are, are so fast and they run away uh, from the Zerglings. So it does look like he won't be able to hold off this attack. and. Uh, that is going to be the game. So uh, thanks for watching, and if you guys want more ZVZs, let me know. If not, I will cast other games. So uh, I'll see you guys next time.